What's up then, Chief? <laughs> Took me through yesterday. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could cut my thumb. Cut your thumb? Yeah. How'd you do that? You know how I did that. How'd you do that? Mate, it was a, it was a big saw. Big saw? It, yeah, it jumped out and got me. <laughs> but we're all right. So, for the um, purposes of um, any criminal investigation, <laughs> um, Ian took the guard off the hedge trimmer in a rather exuberant fashion. Just wanted to get on. Yeah, he's just cracking on. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I spent so we sort of abandoned shit yesterday. Um, so we're back, back on it today for a bit of conifer bashing, which is, you know, definitely one of my favourite things to do. I'd say. Be all right. A bit of conny bashing. What do you think, Ian? Yeah, we'll smash it. It'll be fine. Yeah. Park um, over here. Ooh. Tell you what, I just I can't wait to get going on this. <laughs> beep 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 beep. How do? It's a wonderful hedge. Really. Oh, it's growing right through and everything, isn't it? Look at that. Is this padlocked? Gate's padlocked. It's convenient. Right, should we do a risk assessment? Yes, mate. It looks pretty risky. Let's get it's on. It's pretty risky, okay. I'm going to talk you through this one. So. Okay. What I do is I make sure there's nothing around me and then I assess the situation, the potential risks here. This could be young. Okay, there's, there's a safety pin here in which has a sharp. Yeah. That could be sharp. Well spotted. Watch out for that. This here could trip on. That's a trip hazard. Uh, yeah. Now what I like to do is I like to bend my knees. Yes. And I pick it up like this, okay. and then I very gingerly <laughs> swap hands, and I hold here oh. to avoid being anywhere near these cutting blades. Okay. Okay. And then you go and put it down, <laughs> just like that. Thanks. Okay. Man. So if you want to do that one, yeah, gingerly. Be careful. Watch out for any trip hazards. Right. Yeah. Do this one today. Yeah. Do that one. Steady. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good work, Chief. Well done, son. <laughs> nice one, mate. Good work. Basically, the point of this video is once you've got a hedge like this, don't keep cutting it. Cut it down or burn it or do something, but it's just but it's just pointless. This is, what's the point? You're sort of wasting your money trimming it all the time. And for what? To do it again in three or four, five years? Come on, have some sense, cut it out, put in a nice hedge.
I've got a bit thinner here because this hawthorn, oh man, what a lovely tree. So the hawthorn or the may tree, you get the leaves first and then the blossom. So it punctuates the countryside. Once so everything's come out, you get the blossom, okay, hedges look gorgeous with all the blossom. Amazing, right? And then it's all green. Then just washed over the top is hawthorn. And it just, wow, man, it's one of my favourites. Great for wildlife, absolutely brilliant wood to burn. There's an old woods boy, old woodsman who, God bless him, Jano. He, uh, 
He used to teach me a bit, you know, like proper old woodsman he was, missing a thumb, everything, you know. Anyway, he'd call it, he used to call it, what did he say, but, oh yeah, black thorn. So, we've got any hawthorn off the job, he'd say, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will stop at mine and I'll drop that off. Okay. I'm like, yeah, okay, why is that? He's like, because well, it burns like gall. Burns like fucking gall. So there you go. Anyway, a little hot tip for you. The hawthorn. Oh, lovely burner. I always keep a bag for Christmas. You know, because you can whack the logs on. They last all day, burn super hot, super bright. Really nice. So yeah, little hot tip of the day. Um, got this last bit to do. Where am I going to put the camera? Brought the wrong helmet. I haven't got a helmet mount on this camera. <laughs> Uh, I guess they have to do. Alright, guide me. I don't, you know, I don't turn the saw off all the time either. So, probably, if I turn the saw off, I might have done that. But I just, you know. Conifer, it's a redwood. Two redwoods. It's a big. They generally in the UK they're all planted in like big stately homes, you know. Um, we call them Wellingtonias here because uh, the Duke of Wellington named them. Um, of course, you guys, most well, most people watching, I think, are in the US. They call them redwoods, and you know they are from the US, so I kind of go with that. I like the name too. Wellingtonia sounds a bit pretentious to me. So anyway, that's what we're doing for. So you know, they can play tennis. It's quite a nice little pitch, little community, you know, thing. I think you join for 10 or 20 sprouts or something. You join and then you can play tennis, which is nice. Red kite here. Oh. Quite a nice story about them. They it's not gonna come out brilliantly. I might drop in some clips from when I'm flying with them when I'm paragliding. Basically, they um, they were hunted to extinction, poisoned by farmers, gamekeepers, and such. Um, so we had none. Well, there was some left in Wales, but none in England. And they wanted to relocate them, but you know the Welsh guys didn't want to give 
up there. So we got a load of chicks from Spain. I see we, you know, I didn't do it, but they got a load of chicks from Spain and then put them in an aviary up on the mountains there. When I, mean, I say mountains, I mean it's like Jeffrey Fry. Um, and they released them there. And now it's a wicked success story because they're just everywhere. I mean, I was flying along the other day about two grand and one just turned up next to me. Probably, I'm just messing with this audio, so I'm wrong. But um, anyway.